Hi guys, welcome to Shot for Shot. My name is Kurt. My name is Butter. And welcome to our review of Rick and Morty Season 3, Episode 3. Yeah! The second week, but they're on the third episode, named Pickle Rick. The one uh. we've, I guess, all been waiting for. Pickle the, Rick! There's a storm about Pickle Rick. Pickle and Rick! And finally here, and we've seen the episode. And what did you think of the episode? Let's get right into it. Um, okay, so here's what I actually really liked about the episode. Um, it was we got to see Rick on Earth and what he got into on Earth. And honestly, it was like Earth was introduced. To, I mean, we the Earth was introduced into their world when the plants, uh, the Planetary Alliance came in. They're like, hey, we're going to bring aliens to Earth. And then Rick um, pretty much fucked all that up, turned the currency to zero. And then now they don't they said, fuck you, Earth. And they left. So it's, everything's back yeah. to normal. Like, everything's rainbow and fucking kittens. But it's not, though. <laughs> it's really not. It's really not. No, it's um, so, so the episode is essentially Rick, and he turns himself into a pickle. Why? Because he can. Because he's because he's fucking Rick. Any, any decision Rick makes is, like, is there's no really rational answer to it. No. It's just, like, because he's Rick, I guess. It's like, can he that's do That's why it? he's in, endearing. And literally, that's how he says it is, can he do it? And you know what? He does. And, and he says that. He's like, I'm just testing myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, fuck it. I'm going to see if I can do it or not. Yeah. Um, but it was great. and But it was still like, okay, so the other family, uh, uh, Summer... Uh, Morty and Beth, they go to counseling, and it was yeah. it was all Rick's idea, or it was the whole family's idea to go. Yeah, Jerry's still out of it right now, which I'm okay with. But I I love I still want Jerry to be in the background. Yeah. I don't want him to be I gone. Would, I would like to, I would at least just, I would like to see what yes. he's doing each episode. Um, I hate the idea right now of them being separated. Like, I felt like I wasn't really watching an episode of Rick and Morty. I mean, it was obviously Rick and Morty, but I'm ready for them to get back to square one again. And I know it might not be for this season. Yeah. But season three might be a very new on season. Yeah. Um, very meta. Where if they're anything. going for because like season, if you take season one and two, there wasn't really a continuing storyline, and for like season three, it seems like they have much more of a continuing line episode per episode. It's like, oh, I'm ready to jump in Rick and Morty. Yeah. Oh, you can watch any episode when I when season one and two are out. <laughs> this would but not be the three, episode to jump in yeah, if you, you can't need. Really if you jump into season three right oh, now. Oh, I want to watch Rick and Morty. I've heard all about it. Yeah, no, this is I'm not lost. that episode. There's a pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is pickle yeah. Rick? Um, I do think that the promotion should uh, for the old Rick Mobile should not have been Pickle Rick Dude, because I, I was thinking about earlier today. Sorry to interrupt you, but I was thinking about earlier like that was the perfect time to like them to do like a mock like Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Oh, it, and, and then Rick, Rick, it was a fucking green fucking yeah. Oscar Mayer fucking hot dog rolling down. It's not like random people walking up to the Rick Rick Mobile and buying Rick stuff. It's like fans obviously coming up to the Rick Mobile. Oh, it should be like it and like he, going up there. Here's a bun and here's a pickle and then it says Rick and Morty on the side and you here you go. That's People would pay ten dollars <laughs> to fucking buy that and be like, yeah. oh, oh. I'm I am so glad this episode is over because I'm ready for like the meme of Pickle Rick to die out. Like I feel like this should have been episode two. Kurt and this yeah. is what they're gonna shout from the hills oh from now God. on. It's will, Pickle Rick. We'll never hear the end of Pickle Rick. Because here's what I you do thought like. thought Tiny Rick was bad. Pickle Rick is gonna. Oh, be it's like, everywhere. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be everywhere. everywhere. Okay, here's what I do like. I do kind of like it's it's classic sitcom, but I love it. Is that every season Rick's gonna have a new transformation, kind of? And I think that's maybe what they're trying to do. Maybe I'm just talking on my talking on my ass. One and two had a transformation. Well, season two had Tiny Rick. Oh, season three has Pickle Rick. I don't believe there was a transformation in season one. I might be shooting no, my foot wasn't. off. Mm. What a fucking idiot. This what a fucking cucumber but still, Rick. I really hope that they keep doing that where like every season like Rick turns into another yeah. another type of Rick that well, we haven't seen before. We, we, we talked about it in the last uh, review of uh, episode two. Well, I wasn't here. You, he, you weren't here. Now it's just me and you. <laughs> the fans love it. The fans um, want more. But uh, what I was saying is like, for the interdimensional TV like channel, like okay. we already have our one. I wouldn't want another like staple episode because we have such few. If it was like a twenty episode like Gravity Falls esque, where there's oh, you know fuck. twenty episodes per season, amazing. um, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, the okay. throwaway episode okay. we really only have ten. Like we're lucky to get ten. Yeah, wait, ten? That's it? I think. Yeah, I think, I it's think 10. so. Because I, I don't I think they're... That, that number on my maybe ass. they got thirteen. Um. But my my thing with this episode was uh, it could be easily said for the whole of season three. Not that there's a whole lot of episodes. Um, yeah. When I watched it, another another actually uh, YouTube YouTube commenter commented on our season 
episode sorry, episode two one saying it wasn't really laugh out loud funny and I and I kind of agreed with them like when I watched episode uh, season one and two there was a lot of moments where I generally found funny um, but I felt for this one it, it kind of leaned on what episode two also leaned on episode two like the, the moments I found myself laughing and getting a reaction out of me were when Morty had the big arm and murdering yeah. people. And I felt like it was the same for this episode when Rick became a pickle and started just murdering a bunch of rats and murdering a bunch of people. And, like, that was funny. But, like, the the reason why I like Rick and Morty uh-huh. is because it's on Adult Swim. And I can go to any Adult Swim show I can on there and find hyper violence and find funny, like Mr. Pickles or something like that. Um, oh my god, Mr. But Pickles. the reason I liked Rick and Morty because it wasn't that. Yeah. Not that that it, not that hyper violence is bad or anything like that. Like I, I enjoy it. It's very fun to watch. Uh, not that saying that in this episode it wasn't fun to watch. It was just it was hard seeing it back to back in each episode, and a lot of the humor relying on the fact that Rick is just killing a bunch of people. However, what I'm gonna say is that. The story is extremely well written. The yes. dialogue in in the episode is absolutely great. Like I, my favorite part of the whole episode is when Rick was talking to the psychologist. Like, oh my that god, that was that, the best part of it because it, I like the meta of meta ness of I, Rick and Morty. I, I I always love when they try to throw a character and like even like the characters don't understand that like Rick is the smartest guy yeah. in the universe. Like no joke. Like this guy is the smartest guy. And I love when they try to have like there's characters that like that like try to know Rick more yeah. than him. He's like but a sociopathic Doctor Who. I love it. Yes, exact. Oh, ex- oh. <laughs> and you don't even like Doctor Who apparently. <laughs> okay. Um okay, but honestly, it's it's probably like one it's the weakest of the three so far, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, there's not it, much to like, choose from. Yes. It, it, like once Rick becomes Pickle Rick and then he becomes Pickle Rick Roach Rat Rick and then like goes on like his journey and then ends up in like this fucking fortress. I really like that would turn out. And the other funny joke I really loved was the whole poop book. It was like the, the, no, the it was really that stupid. Was, and like I just tried to hide. Fell flat for me. I was watching him like and he was watching me watch it. And I was like, Hey, if you know anybody else who knows Susan Sarandon folks, yeah, let's let's Susan, give it up for Susan, Susan Sarandon. Sarandon. Okay. And also Danny Trejo as the Jaguar. Actually, let's pause right now. But the, the true people that we really, really have to give it up to is Adult Swim. I just want to say, like, extremely, like, thank you. Like, I was able to watch it. Oh, yes. A couple hours before it premiered on your channel that you sell advertisements for. Yes. And I was able to watch it on my phone two hours before with no advertisements whatsoever. And I got to see the whole episode unfiltered, like, un, un, unbraked. Like, and it was the full episode, and I want to just thank you. Like that, that's fucking awesome and weird to do with such a high so value true. content so that, they, true. that Adult Swim has. Um, that they could easily be like, we're only going to show it on cable. We're not going to put it on our website. We're not going to put it on this. And cable companies may maybe pay them. Or but like, but I don't honestly, know how that exactly works. But they fucking did it for us. It was awesome. It, it, it's like it's like when you go see a movie in theaters. Like, oh, I had to see the movie in theaters. It's like that's what I love about Rick and Morty, dude. We can watch it on my phone, the screen this big, and get the same amount of it is if i watch it on my computer screen watch it on my tv and that's the thing it, it reaches so many levels and so much humor and it, it really hits so much nerddom and that's what i love about this show it's like this is the new thing that's really going to take over like th- this honestly this is gonna be the new fucking family guy like this is and it's, it's smart too, it's, it's smart humor i would agree this season's been a little bit more violent like you were saying but i want i want more humor and i love the characters like the jaguar Danny so Trejo, great. so Danny stupid, Trejo. but he's great, fucking great. And, and fuck like Stephen Colbert in season two, like that's oh, awesome. I love, love it. to see their their continued um, celebrity guest appearances, but I don't think it will ever not not. It won't be. It can't be Family Guy. Not saying it's not, but like Family Guy was every year. Um, that every year Family Guy was out, but this one just comes out so frequently. Frequently, yeah, in, uh, infrequently, I guess. Yeah, um, like now Rick and Morty fans are finally knowing what it feels like to be a Venture Brothers fan. Waiting, oh my many, god, many years in between seasons. And love it. Oh and my I, god, I'm not, I'm not expecting anyone to rush their product. I want you guys to present your product to me as wholeheartedly as take your you time take your, your mind. time yeah take your time because that's what i heard about season three is that they want to make sure that this was the best season they want to take their time and put it out yeah. and i pre we from the bottom of our hearts 
Dan Harmon, Justin Royland, we really appreciate that. Seriously, yeah. dude, because that means you appreciate us as fans. Yeah. You appreciate all the viewers. Or everybody out there in fucking the internet appreciates it. Yeah. That means you care about it. And us. I'm excited for Rick and Morty Season 3 for the writing aspect. It seems to be very smart and very well-paced. Yes. They're very fun to watch. Like, oh, yeah. Episode 1 They're all of different Season too, 3 yeah. it wasn't, it didn't have any many belly laughs, but like it was a very fun episode to watch. You saw the interaction with him in like the, he like uh, the Szechuan not Szechuan sauce when he like was creating the time portal. Oh and, yeah, like, I love those moments. And he Real moments. That, and Real you moments. Saw the whole adventure with him like transporting him into different ricks. Like that was very well written. So you see season two, uh, sorry episode two was the same kind of way like that. It had a kind of meta aspect to it. And I also thought season three, uh, episode. I did it again. Uh, episode three was very well written in the circumstance yeah. of the uh, psychologist yeah. and Rick interacting, and that's always fun to see. But yeah. I think the main thing we can say is we're always really excited for season three. Yes, and we're really excited to see what is in store for us because this could be Rick and Morty, hands down. Like it's always going to be Rick and Morty. It's mm -hmm. always going to be fun, and it's always going to be way more adventurous than anything we can always watch and kind of tell. Uh, right now. We we got a little pre. Did you get the preview for season for episode four? No, I didn't. So actually, we get to see the uh, the they're called the the Vindicators or the Vanquishers. They are the Avengers of the Rick That's and Morty right. world, and I believe, uh, uh, oh God, uh, uh Christopher, uh, he's in Heather's. Vince he's in Heather's. He's in Mr. Robot. I say it. Uh, I, I, oh, that guy. Yeah, that that, that guy. guy. Um, funny you say that though, because I'm also really excited for the season because. Uh, the, all the trailers and previews for season three, I think, really relied on Pickle Rick and the Mad Max one. I'm oh, yeah. very excited to see the next episodes. Oh, like what we through. haven't seen yet. Oh, my so God. Excited. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kurt. My name is Butter. And we'll see you next time on our review of season three, episode four. Oh, yes. Of yeah. course. Thanks, Peace guys. among worlds, guys. Peace among worlds. Peace among worlds. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Can we do it? Thank you. Peace <laughs> amongst worlds.